Good evening, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum and this evening I'm going to show you how to uh, fillet a red snapper. So uh, I want to show you also um, how to get the very most out of a red snapper um, and how to get it in the premium condition. And um, so I'll pull him out of the ice. Now this is the last, just got home from a commercial fishing trip and this is the last snapper I caught. So it's about 1.1 kilos. And uh, what I've done is I've brain spiked it, I cut its throat and uh, put it into an icy slurry. Uh, and that really... Where's the spike? Uh, you can see the hole the in the hole. head there where the spike goes into the brain. Mm. Uh, and that kills them instantly and uh, goes into a slurry. And you can see how firm the, the flesh is, the fish is. Mm. And uh, now there's another fish I want to show you. Beautiful fish. Uh, whenever I catch one of these, they're, they're not very uh, common, these fish, they're a frying pan snapper. Not, so whenever I catch one, well, I give hold it myself. the head a bit forward. That's you see it all right? Yeah. Look at those beautiful things. Isn't that yeah, a beautiful fish? They are. That's sort of... And you do of, always keep them. Yeah. And uh, so I'm going to do that as well. And uh, anyway, uh, first of all, I'm going to... Uh, Knock off all the scales, uh, starting at the head. So, uh, so I'm going to uh, prepare this snapper as if I'm going to bake it, bake it whole. So we're uh, knocking off all the scales. So if you saw our pearl perch video, there's probably no need to look at this one. It's pretty well the same process. So, uh, so if you're going to bake the fish in the oven, you want to get rid of all the scales. There's a lot of scales around the head and around the cheeks and the uh, and around this uh, bottom of the mouth and uh, taking all the scales from around the wings and uh, that area in the stomach. Okay, so we've removed all the scales off our fish. The, um, off the frying pan snapper, we just removed the scales off the, off the fillets and the wings. I'm going to use the head and the frame for fish stock, so I don't need to scale the head. Uh, with this bloke, we're going to, the head's big enough to use in a fish head curry or a Thai uh, Tom Yum fish head soup, because the uh, bones are big enough to sort of suck the, the meat off them. And uh, so, anyways, I'm going to do a, the gutting. I've got a, a, quite a solid uh, knife here for gutting and gilling. I'm just going to do a run from the vent back through these pins and then up to the head turn the fish over and then you're just going to do a cut around here and then cut back back there and then you just open up those flaps and you just pull the guts from the gills all the way back removing all the guts and the gills in one go and you just cut across there Remove all that, that bit there, and there's a, a little couple of places there you just cut that blood section there, and uh, just, just do a cut across there, just, and then you can just cut, wash all that blood out of the backbone, and that's if you're going to use it for to, to bake, if you're going to bake the fish, you can do that. Um, this would be a good sized fish for say at least four people. Um, mm. There's a lot of good meat in the head, uh, so if you're going to bake it, you, you know, remove all the scales and then you can eat uh, to your heart's content without getting scales in, in your food. Right, on, so we're ready to fill up these fish. Um, I've cleaned them all up and uh, there's a there's a sort of a section here between these bones here, you can just start your knife through there and just come as close to the head as you possibly can and then, you, and then you're going to take your, run your knife along the, the fish frame so that you're, uh, you're going to eventually carve around the backbone. And in, the, in, this, in the case of both these fish, I'm going to remove uh, both of the, uh, take the wing 
with the fillet because uh, the best part of the fish is around the head and the wing and the stomach flap area and the skin so uh, this is the reason why we scale our fish because there's a lot of goodness in the skin you see a lot of people like to skin their fish but um, you know it's, sometimes they take a bit of meat with it so you're losing a lot of goodness there so they're just more or less uh, removing the fillet from the uh, there's one fillet and I'll just do this other I'll do that other fillet later so this uh, snapper here the same thing applies there you've got a bone between the wing and the thing so you just uh, cut it as close to the head as you can and the same thing here you just that's the water leaking So we just sort of much the same thing. We just sort of cut it around the backbone like that. And uh, cutting across the end, sort of cutting across the ribs, bones there. So we're taking the wing off, off the, again with the fillet. Right, uh, so we've got our fish fillets uh, off the off the bones, and I've placed the uh, bones over here, all cleaned up, ready. If you want to move around to the right, I've um, got my head nicely cleaned, ready for a tom yum soup, and I've got the frame as well as the frying pan snapper frame and the head for a fish stock. So we've uh, got our uh, frying pan snapper fillet. I'm going to get two pieces out of this, so we're going to get a boneless piece and a piece with a lot of bones. So the, the boneless piece you could probably call fast food but this one <laughs> it's not fast food but it's so the it's a nice pin, piece though. A couple of pin bones here just cutting those pin bones out um, which makes this piece boneless. Uh, you could cut that piece above the pin bones off if you wanted to. You got another boneless piece and then keep all your pin bones and the rib bones together so just going to clean all that up and have that as another uh, piece of fish now the uh, snapper oh yeah by the way uh, you've got this fin here you can cut that off there you go and got that off now this one here it's uh, big enough for three pieces so we're going to take one piece off the tail Bit. Yeah, I'm just cutting back on a bit of an angle. There's a little bit of stuff there. Just take that bit off. And there's a couple of pin bones there. I'm just going to cut those off. Cut those pin bones out. And we've got, uh, now we're going to take this fillet above the pin bones off there just cut down just avoid those pin bones and you've got that piece there without any pin bones beautiful piece of snapper now that same thing goes here you've got that fin comes off and uh, but like I was saying you just clean off all that loose skin off that and clean it all up and uh, we'll come back when I've done all that and ready for the final presentation. Right, Alan. So in conclusion we've got our, uh, our wing sections here with all the bones uh, nicely cleaned, ready to cook up and fry. We've got our filleted pieces, boneless fillets, and we've got our heads and frames. So what, what I'm all about is wasting nothing. So. Uh, the, the fish comes out of the ocean, the only thing you don't eat is the uh, guts and gills and the bones. Uh, in the case of the frames, you just cook them up as a stock and get all the goodness out of the heads and the frames and uh, uh, there's nothing wasted. Okay, Dave, we'll close now. All the best. Bye.